Hi, welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In this tutorial, I'm going to um, show you how to add particle systems to your 2D game. So, a particle system can be used for all sorts of really cool effects like adding smoke uh, or mist or fog or adding things like fire or um, sparks. So, you can create a whole heap of really cool effects to change the look and feel of your game. And so in this tutorial, as an example, I've got this bomb here and I'm going to make it look like there are sparks coming off the bomb. So it looks like it's about to um, blow up. Okay. So I've got the bomb over here and what I'm going to do is I can create a um, particle system by just right clicking anywhere in here and click on particle system. Okay. And I might right click this and just call it sparks and I'm going to attach it to the bomb, make it a child of the bomb. Now, um, now that I've attached it to the bomb, I can just set its position to um, zero on all the different axes and maybe just move it up a little bit so that the sparks are coming off just the top of the bomb, just about there. Okay. But I can't actually see anything yet. And there is actually a particle system and it's running right now. The reason I can't see it is because it's behind the sky. Okay, so if I move it up, you can actually see it here. All right, so this is what a particle system looks like. And when you create a particle system, um, it gives you some default settings to get started. So at the moment, the color of the particles are white. Um, and basically a particle system just emits particles and emits particles in a certain direction that each particle is a certain color or size and they can change direction. They can change size and color um, over time. You can change how long particles exist for, whether they loop and all sorts of things. So on the particle system, which I've renamed to Sparks, you can see it has a particle system component. Okay. And it has a whole heap of settings here. So duration is five seconds. It's set to loop. Um, and there's different things here. You can set like a start delay, start lifetime, start speed, size, rotation, color, and so on. But before we start um, playing around with that, what I want to do is make sure that we can actually see it in the foreground um, rather than the particle system being stuck behind the sky. So just like we um, did with the sprites before. So with the sprites, we put them on different sorting layers. Um, so for example, the sky tile sprites are on a background sorting layer and things like the player are on the foreground sorting layer and things like planks are on, if I get a plank sprite, they're on the foreground as well. And some other things might be in the midground. Okay. I think the ground might be on the mid ground. Yep. So the ground is on the mid ground sorting layer. Anyway, so the bombs on the uh, foreground sorting layer and the particle system at the moment isn't um, set on specific uh, sorting layer. So if you scroll down on the particle system to render and click on that and then scroll down a bit more, you can set the sorting layer there and I'm going to set it to foreground and there we go. So we've got a, um, a particle system here, but at the moment it's not quite right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is change the start color from white. I'm going to click on that little box there and I'm going to pick a different color and you can see it's already kind of simulating, um, you know, what it might look like in the game. So I might pick maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more yellow. Yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's going to be the color. But at the moment, this particle system's way too big. In fact, it's going even higher than the sky. So <laughs> I'm going to go back to um, the particle system here. I'm going to change a few things. So the start lifetime, I'll set to two seconds instead of five. And duration, I might set to two seconds as well. Okay, and I'll stop that and simulate it again. And now you can see it's not going as far. So the particle system is only lasting for two seconds before it actually um, 
loops again or stops and repeats. So start lifetime could set even lower, maybe to 0 0.5. So what this is doing is um, we're basically just setting how long a particle can exist for. So maybe something like 0 0.2 might work. Okay, you can change the number of particles. So at the moment, there's a maximum of 1000 particles. Maybe we'll make that something like 20. The speed as well you can change. You could slow it down if you wanted to, um, or you could speed it up. Okay, um, so notice that I'm speeding it up. They go, particles go a lot further because um, basically the, the amount of time that they exist for is still the same. We're just changing how far they can, or how fast they go, so they can cover more distance. But I'm going to set this to, I'll probably just keep it as five, or maybe, maybe a bit more maybe eight and the size we can reduce as well. So at the moment, um, the sparks are quite big and blurry, but uh, maybe we can make them a little bit smaller. Maybe that's a bit too small. Okay, so something like that might be okay. All right, and I think we could make it the range of sparks even smaller. Okay, so Fiddling around with these settings, that's starting to look a little bit better. What we can also do is change, um, so there's a few things here, like the emission rate, so the number of particles over a certain amount of time can be emitted. Um, we could also go to shape, and at the moment, the shape is set to a cone, so the particles are being emitted in a cone shape. What we might do is make that uh, a sphere shape instead. So that looks a little bit better. Sparks are flying off in different directions rather than just one direction. You can change the radius of that sphere as well. So it might make it a little bit smaller. There we go, 0 0.5. You could say a random direction as well. There's all sorts of things that you can change. You can change the velocity over lifetime, force over lifetime, color over lifetime as well. So you could change um, a whole heap of different things there. Um, so if I ticked color over lifetime, I could um, change the color. Um, so maybe it starts off as, I can click on this little picker here, starts off as yellow, and then maybe over time it gradually changes to red. Okay, so it might be a bit hard to see, but it's they start off as yellow and then go to red, okay? And that would be a bit more noticeable if you increase the um, lifetime of the particles. Um, but I don't really like that. It doesn't really work. I think yellow is fine. So I'm just going to undo that and set the color back to what it was. Oops, I went back a bit too far. Okay, so you can also change rotation over lifetime, rotation by speed. You can set up collision as well if you wanted um, the speed sparks or particles to be able to collide with other things, um, but there's nothing really around here that they can collide with. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. That's basically how to add a particle system to a game in Unity. Thanks for watching.